welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to present my top five new SBCs of 2020, or more accurately, my top five new SBCs launched from the 1st of October 2019 to the 30th of September 2020. My criteria for selecting and ranking the boards is based upon their hardware specification, their software support, the level of innovation involved, and to be honest, just how much I happen to like a particular single board computer. To be included here, a board has to have been reviewed on this channel in the past 12 months, so I'm not going to make a judgment on a board I've not looked at. And with all of those criteria fully explained, let's go and get started. Right, at number five on my list is this, the RockPi 4C from Radsa, which is an upgrade to the previous RockPi 4B. And indeed, four out of the five boards on this list are either upgrades or downgrades to previous single board computers. And to some extent, I think that reflects the fact that 2020 has been a difficult year in many ways, and that's impacted on the single board computer manufacturers. But more broadly, I think it reflects the fact that as single board computers get more sophisticated, it gets more and more difficult to produce a brand new board every year or even every couple of years. So increasingly, I think we'll see boards which are incremental upgrades to previous boards when we see new single board computers. Anyway, the uh, RockPi 4C sells for $59. It's a very good value single board computer. It's a hexa-core board based on a RockChip RK3399 which gives us two ARM Cortex-A72 cores running at 1.8 GHz and four ARM Cortex-A53 cores running at 1.4 GHz. And then there's also an ARM Mali T860 MP4 GPU. We've got a four gigabytes of RAM here. We've got a two USB 2 ports and two USB 3 ports, the usual gigabit ethernet. And like every board on this list, this board will supply an output of a 4K at up to 60 frames a second via HDMI. Here via a micro HDMI, we'll take a point off for that. But we've also on this board got, and this was part of the upgrade of the, of the 4C, we've also got a mini display port here offering a 2560 by 1440. And this is the only Raspberry Pi form factor board I'm aware of with a display port. But the really exciting thing about this board is if we turn it over, almost turned it the wrong way there, there we are, we can see underneath the uh, RK3399 system on a chip, which has to have a heatsink on it if you don't want to burn out the board. But also under here, there's lots of other features. We've got, for example, a real-time clock battery connector. Again, unusual to see, very good to see on a Raspberry Pi form back to single board computer. And mustn't forget the fact that here with the 3.5 millimeter audio connector, we can have a microphone input to this. You don't often get that on, on a board like this. Now we've also got lots of storage options on the RockPi 4C. We've got our SD card slot here. We've got a slot for taking an EMMC flash module. Both SD card and EMMC module can be up to 128 gigabytes. But we've also got an M.2 slot here, which will take an NVMe SSD. So there's lots of storage options here on the RockPi 4C. Now, admittedly, the uh, M.2 slot faces out that way, so you really have to use an extender board with this to make it work in a, a nice, neat fashion. But uh, other than that, there's just a lot of features available here for, for the money on the, the Rock Pi 4C. In terms of software support, as we saw when I reviewed this board, there's a decent version of Debian available, which offers good YouTube playback in a browser. And there's also a version of Android available with the Play Store pre-installed. Moving on, at number four on my list, we have this. The Latte Panda Delta from DF Robot, which in my view is a highly underrated x8664 based single board computer. This sells for $188 bare or $228 with Windows 10 activated. And as that indicates, the Latte Panda Delta, because it's an x8664 based board, can run Windows as well as x8664 based Linux distributions. And effectively, this is a cut down version of the far more expensive Latte Panda Alpha. And I think actually probably the best value of the two boards. What we have in terms of spec is under here, there's an Intel Celeron N4100 CPU with a 1.1 gigahertz base frequency boosting to 2.4 gigahertz. And then we've got Intel UHD Graphics 600, four gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM and 32 gigabytes of onboard flash storage. 
And we've also got masses of connectivity, far too much to show you here, but we do have a full size HDMI socket down there. We've got three type A USB three ports. We've got two GPIO connectors, as you can see, one of which interfaces to an onboard Arduino 80 Mega 32U4 microcontroller. And then we look underneath, as on our last board, some of the most exciting stuff is underneath. Yes, we've got things like a wireless module, an SD card slot, that type of stuff, but we've also got two M.2 slots. And the top one of these is M key to support an NVMe SSD. The other nice thing about this board, we'll flick it back the other way, there's also a very nice case available called the Titan case. So let's just fit it in the Titan case. Here's the base of the case. It goes in there like that. I'll just put this together. And there we are, the last piece we'll click on hopefully like that. There we are. And um, it's just a nice little construction now, isn't it? If you want a very small standard PC, effectively an x86-based computer, then this package of Latte Panda Delta from the Titan case gives you a beautiful pocketable device which will run Windows 10 and any x86-64 based Linux distribution. Advancing to number three on my list, we have this, the Odroid N2 Plus, which is a very powerful ARM-based SBC from Hard Kernel. The board comes with either two or four gigabytes of RAM, priced respectively at $63 and $79 plus taxes for those two different versions. The N2 Plus is, I'm sure you would guess, an upgrade to the previous Odroid N2, and it features its very distinctive design, which has this massive heatsink on the base of the board, and this calls a hexacore Amlogic S922X system on a chip with four A73 cores running at 2.2 GHz and two A53 cores running at 1.9 GHz. And we also have an ARM Mali G52 MP6 GPU, the aforementioned two or four gigabytes of RAM. We've got a four USB three ports sitting over there. We've got a full size HDMI socket sitting there as well, the usual gigabit ethernet. And we've got the ability to boot from, if we look down here, either a, an EMMC module from there or a micro SD card. But sadly, what we don't have on this board is onboard Wi-Fi or onboard Bluetooth, which I know for some people is a deal breaker. But uh, nevertheless, the Odroid N2 Plus remains one of the most powerful ARM-based single board computers on the market. It's got reasonable and increasing software support, which includes a version of Android, Coralec for media playback, and also a version of Ubuntu Mate that offers great browser-based YouTube playback. Oh, and finally, in common with the previous board we looked at, the uh, Latte Panda Delta, there's also a case included with this, different type of case, it makes use of the heatsink on the base, and the bits of the case clip on top, if I can get the right way round, one bit goes in here, and the second bit goes in here. There we are. So there we are, the Odroid N2 Plus, number three on my list of the top new single board computers of 2020. Right, can you guess what's at number two on the list? Well, it's this, the eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4 from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. And I almost didn't include this board on the list as it's effectively identical to the previous Raspberry Pi 4 models, but with eight gigabytes of RAM and associated power component changes. However, in a year of incremental SBC launches, in my view, this is by far the most significant of them and justifies the position of the eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4 as number two on the list. And it's amazing to think that only 18 months ago, the maximum memory on a Raspberry Pi was one gigabyte. The Pi 4 eight gigabyte model is priced at $75 and it features a BCM2711 system on a chip with four ARM Cortex-A72 cores running at 1.5 gigahertz. We also have gigabit ethernet, we have two USB 2 ports and two USB 3 ports, we have the usual 40 pin GPIO connector we find on all Raspberry Pis, and we've got two micro HDMI ports. We can boot the board either using a micro SD card that goes in the slot over there, or we can boot it using USB, so we can boot from an external SSD or a hard drive. 
Software support is better than for any other ARM-based SBC on the planet, with an increasing number of excellent 64-bit operating systems available. And so the Raspberry Pi 4 8GB model really is an excellent single board computer. Well, you need to contain your excitement no longer, as I can now reveal that my top new SBC of 2020 is this, the Odyssey X86J4105 from Seed Studio, which was initially branded as the ReComputer Alpha. This is the only totally new board on this year's list, and as the name suggests, is an x86-based computer. Various models are available, both with and without a case and a Windows license, with prices ranging from $188 to $258. Now clearly, the Odyssey X86J4105 is therefore far more expensive than a Raspberry Pi, and so it occupies a very different market position. However, alongside the Raspberry Pi 4, this is the best and most reliable SBC I have ever used. All models have an Intel Celeron J4105 quad-core CPU with a 1.5 GHz base frequency bursting to 2.5 GHz, as well as Intel 600 graphics and 8 GB of RAM. Connectivity is very impressive on this board. We've got, for start, two gigabit Ethernet ports. Now, a lot of people really like that. We've got uh, two USB 2 ports. We've got a Type-A and Type-C USB 3 ports sort of sitting over there. We've got two GPIO connectors, lots of possibilities for IoT with this board. And we've also got two M.2 slots, which can accommodate both NVMe and SATA SSDs. And some models also have 64 gigabytes of onboard flash storage. Being an x86-64 based computer, the Odyssey can run Windows 10 as well as any x86-64 Linux distro. And indeed, in 2020, I've used this board as the test hardware for my reviews of several operating systems, including Linux Mint 20, OpenSUSE, and Cubes OS. Oh, and as the final icing on the cake, the Odyssey can be fitted into or purchased with this really nice blue aluminium case, which features, as you can see, a transparent top. It's held on by magnets. There's a little release button under here, so you've got easy access to the M.2 and GPIO connectors. And so there we are, the Odyssey X86 J4105, the explaining computer's top new single board computer of 2020. Right, just before I bring this video to a close, I thought I should mention three new single board computers which are not included here because they've yet to hit the market, but which are expected to arrive before the end of 2020, and so I thought I should give them a mention, a sort of heads up on what's coming soon in the world of new single board computers. Firstly, we've got the Rock Pi X, which is a very, very exciting new board. It's basically a Raspberry Pi form factor single board computer, but with an x86-64 processor. So you can run mainstream x86 Linux distributions and also Windows if you want to on the Rock Pi X. And it's got all sorts of combinations of memory and EMMC flash storage on the board available. I've been talking to Radza who make the uh, Rock Pi X for a very long time, over a year it's been in development. There have been various iterations put out, some people have tested them in YouTube videos, but the final version is only just arriving. And uh, I expect to be looking at the Rock Pi X on this channel sometime in November 2020. Secondly, I want to mention the Banana Pi M5, which looks like it's going to be a very powerful new ARM-based single board computer. It's been announced, I've yet to see hardware in circulation, but I expect to be looking at the Banana Pi M5 realistically sometime late in 2020 or in early 2021. And finally, we have the 2 gigabyte Jetson Nano, which has just been announced, which is basically a cut down version of the existing Jetson Nano, but with half the memory, 2 gigabytes rather than the 4 gigabytes, a bit less connectivity. But the Jetson Nano 2 gigabyte model sells for $59 rather than $99 for the existing Jetson Nano. So it's also a very interesting addition to the world of single board computers. So there we are, my top five SBCs of the past 12 months, 
plus some information on some exciting hardware coming soon. Finally, I thought I'd answer the question of what is the best SBC to buy if you want to get into single board computing. I'm often asked that question, and it could be one of the boards from this list, but probably the best board to consider if you want to start out in single board computing is this one, the 2GB Raspberry Pi 4, which has got exactly the same specification as the 8GB Raspberry Pi 4 included in this list. It's just got 2GB of memory rather than 8, and it's therefore considerably cheaper. The 2GB Raspberry Pi 4 costs $35. It makes an amazingly good value board to start using if you want to get into single board computing. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you see there, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.